We're now going to do one more example of an optimization problem. The problem is to find the maximum possible volume of a rectangular box whose edges are parallel to the axes, which has one corner at the origin and the opposite corner on the plane 2x plus y plus z equals 1 in the part of that plane where x, y, and z are greater than or equal to 0. So let's draw a picture to clarify what, what this is asking. So let's look at this plane. Here's the point um, 0, 0, 1. Here's the point 0, 1, 0. And here's the point 1 half 0, 0. So these three points are all on this plane. And the part of the plane where x, y, and z are greater than or equal to 0 is a triangle like this. Now this triangle, together with the coordinate planes, bounds a tetrahedron. And what we want to do is we want to put a box in here. And let's draw it with a different color. It's blue. So we have a rectangular box in here. So one corner of the box is at the origin, and the other corner of the box is at some point, let's call this x, y, z, which is on the plane. So 2x plus y plus z equals 1. You could imagine that we have a room which is in the corner of an attic, which is some funny shaped room like this, and we want to store a box of our possessions in this attic space, and we can only use one box, and we want to make the volume of this box as large as possible so we can store the most stuff possible, but it has to fit like this. Okay, so how can we set this up as a maximization problem for a function of two variables? Well, the volume of the box is equal to x times y times z, because x, y, and z are the side lengths of the box. Now, since 2x plus y plus z equals 1, I can substitute for z to write this as x times y times 1 minus 2x minus y. Okay, so we can define f of xy equals x times y times 1 minus 2x minus y. And we want to maximize f. Now what's the domain? Of course, this expression is defined for any real numbers x and y, but we only want to consider x and y such that um, those are the x and y coordinates of a point in this triangle. So what we have to do is we have to take the shadow of this triangle in the x-y plane, and the shadow looks like this. So here's the point 1 half comma 0. And here's the point 0, comma 1. The shadow of the triangle is this region in the plane. So it's bounded by the line y equals 0, the line x equals 0, and this is the line 2x plus y equals 1. So you'll notice that um, these three boundary edges are exactly where f is equal to 0. They're one of the factors of f equals 0. So this is our domain, and we have that f equals 0 on every point in the boundary of the domain. So those points on the boundary of the domain correspond to infinitely thin boxes, where one of the three coordinates, x, y, or z, is collapsed to 0. So that's obviously not going to be the maximum. So the maximum is going to be at a critical point in the interior of the region. So we know there has to be some maximum. It has to be either on the boundary or a critical point in the interior. And we see that it's not going to be on the boundary. So the maximum must be at some critical point in the interior.
Okay, so let's find the critical points. So let's write the formula for f again. So f of x, y equals x times y times 1 minus 2x minus y. And let's differentiate. So fx, maybe, maybe let's expand this a little bit to simplify the differentiation. So it's xy minus 2x squared y minus xy squared. Okay, so fx is y minus 4xy minus y squared, which I can factor as y times 1 minus 4x minus y. And fy is x minus 2x squared minus 2xy. And this I can factor out in x to write it as x times 1 minus 2x minus 2y. Now we set these equal to 0. So fx equals 0 implies that y equals 0, or 1 minus 4x minus y equals 0. Now the case y equals 0 is not going to give us the maximum, because there f is equal to 0. So we can rule out that possibility. Then when we set fy equal to 0, we get that x equals 0, or 1 minus 2x minus 2y equals 0. So by the same argument, x equals 0 is not going to give us the maximum. So we know that we just have these two equations here. So this is a pair of linear equations for x and y, and we can solve this. I'll spare you the solution process and just show you the answer. The answer is x equals one-sixth and y equals one-third. So that's the point where f has its maximum. There's no other possibility. f has to have its maximum at this point. And what is the volume? Well, for this point, remember z equals 1 minus 2x minus y. So when we plug in x equals 1 sixth and y equals 1 third, we get that z equals 1 third. So the volume, and this is the maximum volume, is well, x times y times z, which is 1 sixth times 1 third times 1 third which is 1 over 54, and this is attained where x equals 1 sixth and y and z are both equal to 1 third. So now if you ever need to store stuff in an attic, now you have the mathematical tools to optimize this process.